What's up guys, how you all doing? Welcome back to another video on the channel. Today we are here once again on Anime Swords X to continue from where we had left off. Which just in case if you didn't see the last video, pretty much what we did was we unlocked the solo leveling world. Which if I'm not mistaken is the second world and pretty much we had a look around, you know, what exactly could we do. For example, we had to go at the dungeon, which I ended up failing miserably. But it's fine since in the end I did say that i was going to get much stronger so then by the time that i you know make another video and then i would go again at the dungeon i'd be much stronger which i ended up doing as you can see over here i have 2.04 billion energy and not only that if you have a look at the heroes that i currently have equipped as you can see they are all mythicals from this egg in this world and yeah now that i am going to be much stronger hopefully in this video we are going to be progressing through a bunch more worlds unlocking a bunch more things to make me even more stronger and overall going from noob to pro but quickly before i jump into today's video just want to quickly say if you do end up enjoying it and want to see more then feel free to drop a like and sub down below that's why not only are you supporting the channel but you're also helping me get closer and closer to my goal of 5k subscribers also i think you know the drill especially if you've been watching like the past three or four videos that i've done i'm going to be setting another like goal for this video can we hit maybe 30 likes if we do that would be absolutely amazing but anyways enough of all of that let's jump right into this so i think the best way to start things off is probably to take on the boss since i haven't actually taken him on yet and i obviously need to defeat them in order to unlock the third world so here's the char 500 million hp i should be able to one hit them and yes there we go we've got the gem sword and as well the cursed island tp unlocked so yeah let's quickly head on over and have a look at what is available in this world starting off with the first thing it is going to be coming soon so i guess over here is going to be some kind of dungeon maybe i'm not entirely sure at least i'm assuming that's considering you know it's a sword emoji but then again it might just be because you know the game's called anime swords x so i guess for now i guess we're going to have to keep on speculating now if we have a look over here there's going to be another egg uh, ranging from the comments 53 percent all the way over to the mythical 0.1 percent just like all the previous worlds chances are and as well it only costs 300 k per open which is actually relatively cheap i mean i have 1.41 billion gems so i'm definitely not going to be going broke anytime soon when hatching so maybe in this video i might do like a hatching time lapse maybe considering you know i have a bunch of gems and i do need probably all those new mythicals as well to upgrade my team but i guess we'll have to see now over here is going to be the boss which i don't think i'm ready to take on just yet i first want to find out where the elite enemies are which are going to be right over here and okay it seems like they only have 15 billion hp which isn't exactly too bad i mean if i put on my auto clicker right now i am going to absolutely demolish them and as well we're going to be getting a sword monstrous so let's quickly have a look at the stat and okay they are going to be giving me 19x energy multiplier per sword that is really good get on my team right now so then you know obviously i can get the maximum amount of energy which currently i am getting 21,706 energy per click now having a look at the collection over here it does seem like that this is only the epic so obviously we can still get the legendary uh the katana curse and as well the advanced sword which obviously are going to be much better now after seeing how much hp the elite enemies have i am really curious to see if maybe i might be able to go to the next world immediately so let's quickly have a look and only 50 billion hp damn okay it seems like i might actually be able to skip two worlds just like that so hopefully let me just quickly take him out without dying that way obviously i don't end up losing and nice we got a katana curse which is the mythical and as well the dragon an island now let's quickly run on through here and see if there's anything else that this world has to offer or am i just going to end up defeating another boss probably not but then again i said that for the last boss and you saw exactly what just happened and all right okay the elites have 350 billion hp this time which as you can see i am not taking them out that fast but then again it is not too slow to the point where it's going to take hours and hours 
probably in like another 30 seconds he will be dead which probably means that if i were to take on the boss right now it might take around two to three minutes to take it out but let me just quickly defeat this enemy see if it drops a good sword and then we'll go from there and all right he's about to be taken out and nice we managed to get a bat sword which is going to be the legendary 26x energy once again immediately equipping it since i want as many of these as possible and as well if i get more mythicals that would be even better now as well another thing that i noticed this is once i take out these enemies they give approximately 2 billion gems each which is absolutely insane considering that 1 billion took me a few hours to get and now i'm getting like the same amount in just you know a few seconds speaking of which how much does this egg cost 37.5 million gems okay now this is pretty expensive but hey it's fine since probably these heroes over here are going to be really good in fact let me just quickly hatch a few of them let's open up hold on let me just make sure all my auto delete settings are good uh let's get epic and above why not and all right we managed to get a legendary if i'm not mistaken let's just quickly have a look over here where is it ah yes right over here zamaso 18x energy interesting so it does seem like the legendaries of this world which is going to be the fourth world uh is as good as the mythicals from the second world a bit disappointing i was hoping that they would be at least a little bit better but then again probably these freezers over here are going to be like 25x 26x something like that but until now i guess these mythical old things i hope i'm saying it right um, they're going to be remaining on my team for the time being now teleporting on through to the boss over here I just want to have a quick go just to see if it is possible to take him down and okay he has 1.1 trillion HP which is not exactly the easiest thing but I think I might be able to take him out if I remain focused you know for example like this once he attacks I just dash away and then once he finishes attacking I just run back in and you know just stay here auto clicking and slowly but surely I should be able to take him out but then again if i end up dying then it will all be for nothing once again but anyways let me just quickly give this a go and then i'll see you guys in a few minutes and okay nice we managed to defeat him giving us a laser gun and once again another tp to the next world let's quickly teleport on through to that final world and let's see what it has to offer i think i see something over here what is it going to be uh breaths okay let's quickly talk to this tanjiro npc and see what he has to offer so index water common snow uncommon rare epic legendary okay uh auras auras are a very good option when it comes to enhancing your swords the roll rates can be found on index i see so from what i'm understanding if let's say i select this laser gun over here and then i uh use these pink gems which i'm not sure how you get them i guess i'll have to figure that out but anyways once we get this pink gem currency we kind of roll for these uh i guess they're called breaths and then they will enhance my sword to probably more energy multiplier which i guess is okay i mean who doesn't like free energy multipliers but i guess i can't really use this until i figure out how to get these pink gems so yeah for now i guess i'm going to leave that be until you know i figure it out now i think from here what i think i'm going to be doing is I let me take out a few of these enemies so then you know i can get some gems since 7.8 billion is probably not going to be enough especially since this egg's probably going to be pretty expensive yeah 2 billion gems per roll that is absolutely insane so yeah let me just quickly save up a bunch of gems you know fking on this enemy over here and then i'm going to cut back we'll do a bunch of hatching maybe i get some of those mythical and as well if there are any secrets since i'm not entirely sure if there is that would be good but yeah once again i'll be seeing you guys in a little bit and all right there we go we are now back after a few hours of afk grinding however unfortunately i wasn't able to get that many gems now obviously what i mean by that is i didn't get enough to get the pity roll over here so that means that the chances of getting a mythical with just 615 billion isn't really that high so i think for now i'm actually going to be saving my gems for a future video now you might be asking all right if you're not going to be hatching eggs what exactly are you going to be doing instead and well i think the answer to that question is going to be using all the codes in the game just to see if any of them give me any pink gems so then at least i can roll one of those auras starting off with the first code we're going to be having bugs fix which is immediately going to be giving me pink gems let's go hopefully more of these 
these codes are going to be giving us pink gems as well. So moving on to the second one, we're going to be having update buff, which is going to be giving us even more pink gems, which is absolutely perfect. Then we have the third code, 3k likes, unfortunately not giving us pink gems this time. Then update one fix, giving us unfortunately once again no pink gems, but still an NG potion and reset status, which is fine. Then there's also update one, which gives us again another energy potion and reset status. And then the last code release giving us a shadow key. Now if we head on over to the inventory and have a look, as you can see we managed to get 10 pink gems total, which means if I'm not mistaken 10 rolls. Hopefully from those 10 rolls we will be able to get one of the good auras, for example chains or toxic, maybe even black hole might be good. But then again it's all gonna come down to chance, so let me just quickly make sure that I pick my best sword, the aka right now the lightning sword, and let's start rolling. So what's the first roll going to be giving me? Let's have a look and ooh, okay 35% damage i'll take it now i did manage to see what the toxic one gives if i'm not mistaken it was 75% damage so that's going to be really good once i get it as well but let's see am i going to get lucky with the legendary right now no we aren't we're going to be getting the rare which is going to be 35% energy not too bad now i think i'm going to be rolling one more time till i get either rare or above something like that so let's have a look and okay we got another epic once again i'll stick with that and after equipping everything correctly, as you can see, I now have two epics for 35% damage and one rare for 35% energy, which hopefully should be making me much, much stronger. But anyways, moving on from there, I think this is where I'm going to be leaving off today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. Once again, we've made a bunch of progress. We went from Evonimus again, it was like the second world, leveling island, all the way over to the final island, aka leveling to Slayer Island. However, there are some tiny bits that I still need to do for example the Tanjiro's over here I need to get a full team of them uh, I need to get a full team of these Rengoku swords as well not only that on the Rengoku swords I need to get you know all of the secret breaths as well and as well something which I almost forgot about the rank ups I have not touched these yet at all which means over here I probably have a bunch of extra energy multipliers just sitting there doing nothing actually you know what I think I'm going to do one right now so let me just click it and yeah eventually I'm going to work on on these off camera and more specifically the next video and now that everything's been explained just want to say quickly once again if you did end up enjoying it and want to see more then feel free to drop a like and sub down below and also whilst you're at it make sure to join my discord it is always linked in the description of every video and also comment down below what you want me to do next on anime swords x for example do you want me to 100% max out do you want me to try a free to play series i'm open to all ideas so maybe if you do end up commenting one i might even do it but until then that's gonna be it from me i'll see you guys in the next one peace out everybody